Hello there folks and welcome to Bullets for Bucks. My name is Steven and today we're going to compare the Fierce CT Rival in 300 PRC against the Seekins Havoc PH2 and 300 PRC. Now, let's go ahead and first take a look at the Fierce CT Rival. It comes with a very soft limb saver recoil pad, hand laid carbon fiber stock, has a little built in rised area here for comb height. It has a flush cup so you can attach your QD sling almost a 90 degree grip and it's a really nice big palm swell there then it has an all metal bottom metal push button release with a floor plate Bixen Andy adjustable trigger down to I believe about two two and a half pounds really nice crisp clean single stage trigger this one features a titanium receiver with a Remington 700 footprint the recoil lug is sandwiched between the barrel and the receiver um, you can get this in, I believe, a stainless steel uh, receiver as well. It's a little heavier. Has a 70 degree bolt throw, skeletonized bolt handle, tactical bolt knob, very smooth action, two lugs, two plunge rejectors, and a claw, little built in claw style extractor there. It is a push feed action, not a controlled round feed action. Really smooth. The Two position safety does not lock the bolt in place when it's on safe, just something to note. Then coming forward, you have a nice beefy, but not overly beefy forend grip profile. You have a built-in Picatinny rail piece, and that's awesome for mounting a bipod and a flush cup up here. Carbon fiber wrapped barrel, very nice barrel. It's 24 inches long, but I think that's including the threaded 5 8 by 24 muzzle brake. Um, it does come with a radial Cerakoted muzzle brake. Side bolt release on this as well. I think I forgot to mention that. And it weighs about 6.5 pounds in 300 PRC, but can be as light as 5.8 pounds in short action. Has a half MOA guarantee. And they are out of Redmond, Utah. Now let's take a look at the Seekins Precision Havoc PH2. Bit stiffer recoil pad back here, built-in flush cup down on the bottom. Has a little bit of similar cheek rise for your cheek and comb height. Nice large palm swell, has like some checkering here for grip. The stock itself is advertised to be carbon composite. It really feels like fiber reinforced polymer to me. A little bit better feeling than a Tika stock, but kind of similar. Um, has a metal bottom metal. Push buttons in the inside, and it comes with, it's a little bit harder though to one hand remove. This is a magazine system. The short action uses P-Mags. The long action uses these carbon fiber uh, magazines. I haven't had any problems with them. It's got metal bottom metal around that. Um, Tactical style bolt knob, but it's slimmer profile. 90 degree bolt throw, 700 footprint as well on these, but they have an integral recoil lug. Side button push release to remove the bolt. Spiral, it has like slanted cuts. It's not truly spiral fluted, but it is a fluted bolt. Six, excuse me, four locking lugs. Trigger is adjustable down to 2.5 pounds. It's a very crisp, clean trigger. It's easy to adjust. Two locking lugs on the Two locking lugs on the bolt, single plunger ejector, and an M16 style extractor. Then coming forward, you have like basically a checkered forend, nice beefy forend, not really much bigger or smaller in profile than the other one, than the Fierce. Has a built-in front sling swivel stud, a single one, take note of that, you can't mount uh, a bipod separately if you have a sling in that. 416 stainless spiral fluted absolutely gorgeous barrel and it's threaded 5 8 by 24. I believe the receiver on this is also stainless steel. This has a hand bedded barrel action which is really great. So bedded pretty nicely in this stock. I gotta say Havoc did a really good job with that. Seekins Precision did a really good job with that. Um, action super smooth. They're both extremely smooth. Feel of high quality. But the Havoc obviously is quite a bit cheaper and quite a bit heavier. 
um, in both of these are 300 PRC and the CT rival weighs about 6.5 pounds in long action in 300 PRC. This weighs about 7.2 pounds in long action. All right, let's head out to the range and see how these perform. Just left of it. I know, I'm just dancing it. Every shot like right by it. Well, I'll be damned. Brush that shot just a caddy bit there. Flinched on that one for sure. All right, now that we're back from the range, I forgot to mention that the Seekins Precision does have a removable bolt head, something to note. Um, you probably are saying, well, the Seekins shot more accurately. Well, the Furious was capable of a half MOA group, but it was difficult to get that group. Um, due to the extremely si small sampling of factory ammunitions, there's no definitive way to say one is more accurate than the other without doing hand load development or trying more factory ammunition out of them. Also, the Fierce is a ultralight rifle, which is inherently harder for me to shoot. That being said, the Seekins Precision Havoc PH2 is probably one of the most accurate 300 PRCs out of the box that I've ever shot. The thing is a tack driver. Absolutely fantastic. Seems a little bit easier to shoot more accurately. Um, the action on both of them, extremely smooth. Nothing super remarkable there to stay. I do like the fit, feel, and finish of the CT Rival more. I like the flush cups in the front and the back. Oh, and I did forget to men mention there is a flush cup in the front of the I did forget to mention there is a flush cup in the front of the Seekins Havoc PH2, so you can mount a bipod and a sling. All right, so overall, for an ultralight backcountry rifle, for hunting purposes, I would definitely choose the CT Rival. The fit, feel, and finish is excellent, Cerakoted, weather-resistant, carbon fiber stock, really, really nice. But if I was looking for something for the range, I would probably actually pick this Seekins Precision PH2. Um, it's not a carbon fiber wrap barrel. It seems to shoot very consistent even when hot. And I really like the fit and feel of it at the range, but not so much for hunting. It feels a bit bulky and heavy and clunky for hunting. Now, if you're just gonna hunt light and you're not going to, you're just gonna hunt and you're not gonna hike super far, it's not, you know, backcountry hunting then you could still definitely hunt with the Seekins, um, and it's a great crossover rifle. Both are excellent rifles though, love them both. They shoot fantastic. Thanks for watching Bullets for Bucks. Check out this next video and subscribe.